Now I showed you that you can run migration by deleting from here and then you can recreate folder uh, table using migra running migration again. But what if you want to change the name of the table without uh, deleting or rerunning the same migration? So now let's see that. So I say PHP artisan make migration change uh, the employee underscore table underscore name. All right, we have the migration up. Now let's go to this file. We need to go in database here. Uh, we have the change employee name, employee table name. Now here, what do we need to do? We need to say schema. And here, I want to say the rename. And inside it, we want to pass the current name since employee. And we want to change it to, I want to change it to employee. Okay. Now, it is good practice to have more uh, as employees because we are going to have multiple employee data there. But I just want to show you, uh, or what I do, it's that I say employees underscore data. All right, that's going to be better. And we also want to have this uh, in here. In case something goes wrong, return this to uh, revert it. So just going to cut this, paste here, comma, and remove this. Run the migration, PHP artisan migrate and the, now if we go back here and refresh we have the employees uh, the table name changed and you can see the data is still there so this is how you change it in so I showed you just to make sure that you if you have data and you want to change how you can do it now as we change the name here and if you remember in the model I have the name of the table set up so we need to update there as well so it's employees underscore data otherwise uh, next time we save the data is not going to save 